So a number of groups across the university are using virtual world technology for teaching, research, outreach, reaching alumni and so on. Um, what we're trying to do here is collaboration research. Uh, we're involved in creating collaborative systems for a number of different application areas. So my own research has, over the years has been on emergency response, creating virtual collaboration centres to support emergency responders in real emergencies across the world. We've also been applying that technology to a number of other areas, such as the creation of a multimedia product uh, with Slam Games over in Glasgow. OK, welcome everyone. I think we're all here now. We can begin the meeting. Where uh, teams get together across the world to create those products, look at the media and comment on them and design and build the system collaboratively. Some of the same technology is also being used in tutorials uh, for things like the virtual world of whiskey. Single malt whiskies are extraordinary because they all taste very different. Therefore you have this vast range of smells, aromas, tastes. Um, and there's a tremendous social occasion to be had in sharing that experience with others. The conviviality of the whole thing, the, the, the discovery of what you're getting in a glass. And the great thing about Second Life is you can do this in a virtual world. And how we do it is we post out to people, wherever they may be in the world, uh, a set of small samples of single malt Scotch whiskies. They open them together, we have a pre-fixed time and date, we meet on site and within the virtual whisky shop in Second Life, and we have a party. We, we enjoy these uh, whiskies, each in our own way, in our own location, but we're all together on site in Second Life. And that's, I think, is a tremendous opportunity uh, for the whisky shop. It's all based around the Virtual University of Edinburgh, based on a stylistic Edinburgh. Um, you can see Calton Hill there, you can see High Street going along towards the castle. And then there's active areas that are used for teaching, research and outreach. We're just now moving into a model of the informatics forum. And in that forum you can see there's a meeting room with various screens. What we're looking at now is a model of the in-space gallery area, which isn't open at the moment, but will be. So as we go into it, we see some of the uh, examples of artefacts that might be in that in-space gallery, including some of the Palazzo sculptures and artwork. We're looking at a tutorial zone now, uh, where teachers get together with their classes, some of which are distance learning classes. So the, these could be people from across the world who are attending a tutorial. See some of the avatars there, or animal avatars, someone's got a husky avatar there. We're just looking overall at some of the areas of view as we take the balloon tour.